Yay! All right, now we went on a little errand, and we sent a exceptionally spoiled pain in the ass woman to her early demise <laughs> and in doing so got enough money to purchase your dress but also leveled up so I spent skill points so I'm not spending any money on it haha -ha. I can't wait to see those outfits what can I do for you darling do -do 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 -do. here's my last estimate mm -hmm. ta-da love that's the ultimate luxury, darling. Love. <laughs> oh, gracious me. I don't get why that's funny, ma'am. Be the ass. Oh, my cherub. Who woos for love anymore? That's so... precious. <laughs> All right, Captain. Here is the absolute best I can do for you. Eh, yeah, why not? There are some things I simply cannot skimp on, darling. Such a lovely young lady deserves the best. Now stand back. Back, back. I'll enter the settings and get these machines spinning. You'll be broke to bespoke in nearly an hour. I'm already broke. I just spent 3000 on a damn dress. And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. Splendiferous. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. <laughs> I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. I'll be thrilled. Wonderful. Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time, I can... I just have to actually do it now. <laughs> you know, there's there's a part Jun Lei's been looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only carried them on big colony ships, like the Hope. What the hell? Right? Eh. I know. For a while, it, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll send June a message and ask her over. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm grateful for all you've done. Hey. Alrighty then. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Wonderful. Talk? Look! I'm going to shoot you in the face! Wait your goddamn turn. Provolone. Alright. She's on her way. How do I look? Just the same as you did five seconds ago. Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. Why? Wait. Why am I up here? The date's still going on. Rude. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my own. What did he say to that? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. Oh. He's probably half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I get indignant about something. Then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that way. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Oh. Act like I'm not even here. My father and I were often at loggerheads. He had notions of how the station should be run, and I had others. He was fond of saying, You think Groundbreaker pays for itself? Someone's gotta cover the bills when I chafed against his deference to the board. 
Sounds like he was afraid of him. He was, and he was right to be. Didn't mean I had to like it. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just back to you. Like I'm not even here. What about your mama? I, I don't mean to pry. You just hardly mention her, and I I've been wondering. She passed when I was small. Taught me how to change a fuse on her deathbed. Even sick, she was patient with me. She kept exhaustive journals of my childhood, my father said. Like she was A-B testing child rearing. Must be you got that exacting nature from her. Exacting is a kind way to put it. Inflexible, my father would have said. Bullheaded. Cold. What? Don't look at me, look at her! Focus! <laughs> Anyhow, that's enough of that bullshit. <laughs> Bit of a tedious part of the quest. It's fine though. You you quite literally have to get off the ship and then get back on the ship to progress this. Mm, Parvaticans. Okay, Captain, she's gone. <laughs> oh my goodness, dish. I need to know everything. I'm joking, it's fine. I'm near about vibrating. I'm so excited. Oh, the so word choice. <laughs> and, well, she sneezed. She said, wow, new soap? And I was like, yeah, rosish. Turns out it tickled her nose. Oops. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle like and called the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led no. her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. Heavy fucked up. <laughs> I was there the whole time. I'm a ninja. What? I. Oh, good grief. She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monar monarchian? Monarchist? <laughs> Monarchers. What the hell would that be? Monarchian? Ah, oh, shit. Whatever. Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about the things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage and she taught me to build. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. Wonderful. I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She, she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. Oh, good heavens. Womp, womp, womp. She's just as awkward as you as, or, as she is. It's wonderful. They're just a delightful little awkward couple and made more all so awkward by why in the hell am I in the middle of all of it? Hmm? Anyway. It, uh, <laughs> that's fucked up. <laughs> um, good grief. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! Oh my god! <laughs> and then she sneezed again. On account of the flowery soap. Oh shit. Look. Don't bring me on shopping. <laughs> that is super none of my motherfucking business. <laughs> I won't do it, but damn. Just damn. It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met Junlei at all. 
I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy screaming to my pillow for like an hour. Womp. <laughs> Ain't it just the sweetest thing ever? Um, yeah. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. May do, uh... Nyoka's quest next, just so that I'm assured I get to shoot somebody in the face instead of running around shopping. But, um, yeah. Till next time. Bye, babies. <laughs>